와요. 와비. Chapter 960, Kazuki Odin takes the stage. Ganges, Gang, Beiges, Oh My Family. Volume 10, The Grand Search for Lola. And they're walking around Dress Rosa. And they got the Luffy Taro. Well, or maybe it's Luffy, um, Luffy San or whatever. Or Lucy statues. And you see God Usopp. And I forgot that. I think his name was Crocus. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just fuck Lola. You know what I'm saying? Moving on. Um, next page. Okay, not a single factory in sight. So this is before Kaido started his uh, takeover with the uh, factories. The area is known for its grand flourishing forest. The vegetation thrives due to nearby clear rivers and sparkling sea. This is a tale from the past. I caught one. A tale about when Wano was brimming with life. Went to shit real quick. You know what I mean? I am telling the truth. I swear it. I saw it with my own two eyes. The mountain was moving. The mountain moved. Indeed, we fled from it and ended up here. It was even growling. Perhaps you encountered a mountain god. Mountain past tea house. Poster girl. To Suro. Oh, this when she was younger. But she don't got them eyes. The three of you are quite chipper considering the circumstances. Foo foo foo. Um, huh? De he he. Nothing gets past you, Osuru. Can you keep a secret for us? The truth is, we were finally able to capture an elusive creature. It took us a whole year. Okay. Take a look at it. Wow, what a beautiful board. Its skin is snow white. If we take this little guy to the capital we can trade him in for one whole piece of white gold huh a piece of white gold you could buy a whole giant mansion with that kind of money boss Kurokama has been saying for years that he wants a rare white board probably to display outside his store he put a bounty on it but nobody has been able to capture it until now that would be quite distasteful white boards are considered heralds of the gods the ha 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 cute story and all but this is just an Exotic animal. Ah, hang on a moment. Cling. Grab. Hmm? Did you steal money from my wallet again? Kinemon? Ah, 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 stop it. Toshiro, Osuro, think of our children's friendship. Our childhood friendship. My big bros have been wasting money issues. You are big bros. I bet they gamble their money away. How many times have I loaned you money now? If you ever touch my money again, I will rip out your organs and sell them to reclaim your debt. She violated, bro. If you can't afford to pay me back, then I will strip you of all your belongings as repayment. And they fighting. <laughs> Thanks for the meal, sir. The money is on the table. So this is Kenny Mon back in the day, Prime, and you know, Osuro. Right. And these dudes walk away smiling. You bastard. I remember you from earlier. Wahaha. A Yakuza thug from the capital. Kinemon? You should be more careful when you talk in public. Of course I would overhear you. This board is worth one piece of white gold. My luck has finally returned around. My luck has finally turned around. I have hit the jackpot. Where's the board though? In the picture I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. Once I hand this over to boss Kurakama, I will be a hand over your clothes and your money too. Oh, he's just robbing him of everything. Thug. Um, regarding Lord Odin, he really does lack the ap aptitude of for selling. Today was his 38th attempt to illegally leave the country. The fact that he is still alive is surprising. He really has lived quite the eventful life, even as a Baby, when he was less than a year old, he managed to fling his wet nurse across the room. By age two, he was able to catch two rabbits with his bare hands. By age four, he was able to throw a large boulder at a bear, crushing it to death. By age six, he was roaming the red light district, wasting royal funds on frivolities. The Shogun of Wano, Kozuki Sukiyaki, Odin's father. Hmm. By age 8, he was getting drunk and starting fights with gamblers. By age 9, the Yakuza. 
even the Yakuza blacklisting him and ban him from entering their casino. This boy been a problem since he was a baby. He was less than a year old. Flung pissed across the living room. Wow. Uh, Kazuki Sukiyaki. Interesting design. His mustache is different and his chin hair is different. I mean, he look cool though. You know, I ain't gonna sit here and be like, uh. So. Next page. He retaliated by setting their casino on fire and practically started a war with them. It all accumulated when he was captured at age 10 after he nearly killed someone. He was sentenced to hard labor in the stone quarry where he showed off more of his unique talents. He climbed the ranks at the quarry until he was running the pallet place. He truly is a member of the Kozuki family. He got a lot of potential. Oh, okay. But after that, he had, his attitude changed significantly. Significantly, he was when he was 14 years old. The capital was experiencing a prolonged drought. The wells had dried up, and countless people were suffering. Why is he reading this to him like he don't know the fuck? I don't get why this dude is reading this to his to Kazukiaki. So he diverted a river straight into the capital. Hmm. But that only led to the capital getting flooded, so his capture was ordered. Oh, he tried to help and made it worse. Everywhere he go, he just can't seem to do nothing right. However, Lord Odin just followed the water route and attempted to escape out to the sea. But in the end, the voyage was short-lived. Then at age 15, wow, we getting a complete backstory, bro. While he was hiding, he got a job at a temple deep in the mountains. Wahaha, kiyakaha. Every night, he would kidnap women from the capital and eventually form a harem. The work of the devil, even though the girls technically choose to stay of their own free will. Their loved ones were enraged. <laughs> you got the husbands and boyfriends coming after them. Their parents, spouses, and even powerful samurai attempted to rescue them. But Lord Odin stood his ground and eagerly took them on. Wow, look at him holding them off. That event came to be known as the Haram Revolt. Oh, let go to uh, old man Hayu. Even the Hayagoro family got dragged into their fray after falling to failing to prevent the fighting. Mm. This dude is just a troublemaker, bro. Problem child, as they say. Lord Odin's victim numbered in the... That is quite enough. Of course, Lord Odin is 18 now, yet he still causes trouble on a daily basis. Do not say another word. Just deliver this to Odin for me. Disowned. Wow. Very ashamed. Wow. He's got disowned by his dad. Crazy, bro. Um, this is the day you finally get caught. He went to the he went that way. Capture Kinima. Uh, hold on a sec. I was just trying to catch in a bounty. Stop lying, you swindler. I am not lying. Just let me go to the Koroko family's mansion. Oink oink. Kinima. That kid stole our money. Catch him and flay him alive is what I would normally say. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight, none of you would stand a chance. Ha ha, you must be joking. We will bring him in right now. The cheerless knight of the capital, Harugoro the flower. So he used to be on some Sutin, a little bit of Sutin, Tintin Maru shit. You know, big boy. Man, he used to be big too, pause. He got short and he lost hella weight. As he got older. So. Let's see. We got five pages to go, y'all. We're getting a lot of dialogue this chapter. You brought the wrong pot. The bigger ones are worth 60 pieces of silver, though. Yeah, but I can trade this pot back in for 30 pieces of silver, right? Sure, no problem with that. So if you add the extra 30 pieces of silver I spent when I bought this pot to the value of trading it in now, it should be worth 60 pieces of silver. So I should get, So I should be able to get a big one. Hmm. Yeah. I suppose you are right. Here you go. Please come again. Hee <laughs> hee. An orphan from the capital, Denjiro. This is the last scabbard. Have we seen this guy before? I don't think we have. Hey, hey. The brat got a discount just like that. What a gullible store owner. Hey, Denjiro. Hmm? Huh? How did I end up 
with only three pieces of silver. Didn't he just tell you he can sell it in and get the money? Or did he still? Uh, we see Odin. I mean, I didn't like. I, I zoomed in quick, so I didn't see it all. The flower capital, crematorium. Sir, Samurai, please do, please something about him. Grandpa Katsuzo. Hey, stop crying. I know this is odd for a funeral, but regardless of what is the matter, after cremation, after cremation, we were going to collect the ashes, but then, well, just look over there. He is using the fire that burnt my father's body to boil some. Odin. Boiling Odin? Refresher for those who have forgotten Odin is a type of Japanese food. Mm. Lord Odin. This is really the stuff. I do not understand what you're saying, but get off my father. This is an insult to his memory. Here to the Shogunate of Wano. Divine Ear? What's it here? Um... Wow, he's really using a body? What the fuck? Hold on, wait a minute. Let me zoom in. So this is Odin. Finally, we get to see this motherfucker. It looks like he has on a hat. And... I don't know what this thing around his shoulders is. It's not hair. It looks like some type of backpack or something. Hmm. And he eating food on chopsticks over soup, it look like. Wow, gulp. Drinking, eating, slobbing, sweating, she coming out of his nose, eating good. Why is he eating over, over a dead body though, bro? Well, skull and bones. Much, much, much drink. Slurp. Woo! See ya. Plunk. The next time we drink together, Katsuzo, it will be in the afterlife. Mmm. Now then, my condolences to the family. My apologies. He is not one for detailed explanations. Huh? Is that how it is? What is with it, guy? With that guy? He is so cool. This means trouble. Hire your wives and daughters. So this is the charming Odin from the rumors. Did you guys come to capture me? Yes. Well, I did end up bringing bribe. Being bribe. You should not talk about such things out loud. You idiot. Anyway, what is going on here? No one is avoiding me like they usually do. The fire bell has been ringing nonstop, but there seems to be no fire nearby. Hey, is it a fire? Hey, is it a big fire? It's, it is bigger than a mere fire. This must be Kaido, bro. Maybe it's not. <laughs> I've seen Kaido in the corner. <laughs> uh, I think I'm right. Let me see. How could you not know about this Kinemon? You should never have brought that with you. Uh, you mean the white boy. Both Korokama probably wanted to use it to crush the Hokuro family. What do you mean, Denjiro? Like I said earlier, when wherever that little boar goes, his parents is not far behind. According to the ancient text, a full-grown white boar is the size of a mountain. Many refer to them as mountain gods. Wow, so earlier when they, in the chapter when they said the mountain moved, they were talking about a, a, a boar. Full grown boar is like a mountain. It is said that hundreds of years ago, a whole region was annihilated in a single night. I thought that it was just a fairy tale, but if this white boar is here now, then that means a mountain god, a real mountain god. We are going to be eaten alive. There are already many victims. Evacuate the capital. I was right. It showed, it really showed up. Oh crap. Will I be responsible for the destruction of the capital? That is an interesting story to overhear. I may not know you too, but Kozuki Odin, I want to give me, I want you to give me that boar, huh? Oh, that's not a boar. That's fucking Kaido, bro. Wink, wink. Bro, that look like Kaido dragon form. Everybody running. Bro, this seems like Kaido, bro. Maybe I'm seeing shit. I am a little high, so maybe I'm seeing shit. Um, that's a chapter. Yep. 
All right, guys. Hey, that was a good chapter. There's a lot of information about Odin. We got to break down, boy. Whoa, wait. From what I understand, he was a troublemaker. Big time. Pretty much everywhere he went, there was always something with him. Uh, he got this song by Pops. And, um... Yeah, I think I got ordered, man. It didn't really get too much better either. Hide your kids, hide your wives. Psh, eating over dead bodies and shit. We got to see Dendro, that was cool. And uh, back in the day, hold your girl, old man, hold your girl. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that was a nice chapter, man. Good breakdown. It's crazy how much this dude Odin did as a, uh, a child, though, from birth to 18 plus. Like, wow. Oh, yeah, we got to see OG Kinemon and uh, Osuru. Kinemon had white hair, look like, or blonde hair. I wonder if Kinemon could have um, beat up on more people in this. Prime did again. Yeah. Hmm. Trying to sell a, a fucking boar, man. Get some money. Get them a big man to this little hut they got. Yeah, it was a good chapter, though, man. It's a lot of information. I can't wait to uh, listen to people break it down. Because, you know, some people, they be going breaking down shit. I'm trying to think if we ever seen Danjura. I don't think we have. I'm confident when I say that. Oh, there we have. <laughs> anyway, John, I said my piece of cotton dip. Yeah. Them, them, them uh, reviews are going to be nice to hear.